Hi, in this tutorial I'll continue with the saving as different file types and this one I'll talk about saving as PNG which is important file type because allows you to uh, save an image and uh, keep the transparency. A JPEG which is probably the most often used file type does not support transparency so let's say you create something here even something simple like this text and uh, you want to import it in another software for example Inkscape and use it there to be over something you created on that software and this file type PNG will allow you to keep this transparency so when you put it over there only the text will be visible and uh, the background will be transparent and will be uh, wherever object or graphic you are putting this on so this is a very useful file type and also there are others that can support transparency I'll talk about them in future tutorials and this will actually not be saving as PNG but exporting now that this is changed here so let's click on that and uh, here we can select the file type or we can write PNG but let's select the file type also we can enter here PN and uh, this will select it quicker instead of trying to search for it and click export and we get this menu here uh, with different options now the first one interlacing uh, this allows the image to be progressively displayed as it's downloaded we all have seen that when you uh, click on an image and uh, sometimes it displays slowly so this is what this is and if this is off the image will be displayed only when it's fully loaded so if you're making some images of uh, for your website and depending on the connection you may want to turn this on or off but this is what it does next one save background color now if your image has many transparency levels the different internet browsers that recognize only two levels will use the background color of your toolbox instead now you all have noticed sometimes um, you have an image with a transparency and if it's displayed in a browser usually that transparency will be replaced with white and a lot of uh, image viewing software also replaces the transparency with white of course if you import it in a software that can actually recognize transparency and uh, for example in GIMP it's indicated with this checkerboard so if you like you can save uh, the background color here now the next thing save gamma this uh, gamma correction is the ability to correct for differences in how computers interpret color values and uh, this saves gamma information in the PNG that reflects the current gamma factor for your display so the viewers on other computers can uh, then compensate to ensure that is uh, that the image is not too bright or too dark so this basically kind of evens out uh, because you know different displays different people set their displays in different ways and um, this option kind of will allow them to see the image as close as uh, like you now next one save layer offset this is uh, broken here it doesn't work it says like that in the user menu this is supposed to save the layer position because uh, you can also store layers but uh, it doesn't work uh, save resolution this saves the image resolution in pixels per inch the save creation time will save the date that the image was uh, saved and this save color values from transparent pixels uh, this uh, will save the color values even if the pixels are completely transparent you can also save options here at defaults for example if you change something here you can save them as defaults and load them later and this compression level uh, the higher you go the smaller the file size and you should know that the compression is not lossy so you can uh, here um, up this number and you get a smaller file size but also it will uh, take more time and the only reason to use uh, less than 9 is if you have really slow computer and the compression takes too long otherwise just leave it like this 
So that's it for this type, uh, file type. And probably the most important thing you should remember is that this file type can handle transparency and this is very useful in some occasions. So that's it for this tutorial. Bye.